In this video, I will show you the RTX 4070 leak, which finally reveals its performance compared to the previous RTX 30 generation and the current RTX 40 series graphics cards. One source of data is the official NVIDIA slides, and the other is the test done by an independent reviewer. In addition to that, I compiled all of this new data to show you my up-to-date estimation of where exactly the RTX 4070 will land in terms of gaming performance in 1440p and 4K resolution. But first, a net from a sponsor. CDKeyOffer.com is my number one choice for when I need to buy a cheap Microsoft software key. They are a reliable provider of affordable keys to me, my friends and the channel community for over two years now, so highly recommend it. Use my discount code IVADIM to get 30% off an already amazing price and grab yourself a Windows 10 Pro for $16, Windows 11 Pro for $23 or Office 2021 for just $52. You can use PayPal for fast and secure payment and get your key instantly. Links to all these products are in the description below. Now back to our topic. First, let's have a look at the leaked NVIDIA slides. This one confirms that the RTX 4070 is indeed launching on April 13th with a $599 price tag. Just a reminder, the RTX 3070 Ti launched with the same MSRP almost two years ago. The next slide shows the RTX 4070 performance relative to the 3080, 3070 and 3070 Ti cards. The grey bar represents 1440p performance with DLSS and ray tracing enabled. The RTX 4070 is as fast as the RTX 3080 in this set of benchmarks. The green bar represents the RTX 4070 performance with frame generation enabled. RTX 30 series cards do not have this feature, so the RTX 4070 is much faster in this particular setting. The next slide compares the RTX 4070 to the RTX 3070 Ti and 2070 Super in a number of games. DLSS and ray tracing are enabled. Here Nvidia is using its frame generation technology to showcase how you will pretty much get over double the FPS compared to the RTX 2070 Super. Further down the list, NVIDIA included some benchmarks without frame generation. As you can see, the performance difference is not as drastic under such conditions. Bear in mind that DLSS and ray tracing are enabled here as well. Unfortunately, these benchmark results are not useful for those of us curious about the pure raster performance of the RTX 4070. That is where the second leak comes in handy. The RTX 4070 is compared to the 4070 Ti in this set of benchmarks. The 4070 is 19% slower in Dying Light 2 at 1440p resolution, almost 20% slower in PUBG, and 10% behind the 4070 Ti in CSGO. There's probably some CPU bottleneck going on in the CSGO test, as the benchmark was done using the i5 12490F CPU paired with DDR4 3600 memory. Far from an ideal system to benchmark this game. The 3 d Mark benchmark results reveal that the RTX 4070 is 20% weaker than the 4070 Ti on average, which does indeed put it on the same level as the RTX 3080. Based on the above data, I present to you my up-to-date RTX 4070 performance estimation. It should be very close to the RTX 3080 and RX 6800 XT in both 4K and 1440p resolution. The RTX 4070 should be about 20% faster than the 3070 Ti, so I recommend not to buy any 3070 Ti cards at or above $600 now, as you will soon get a chance to get a faster and more power efficient graphics card with 12GB of memory instead of 8. To be honest, I think that no one should be buying an 8GB graphics card in 2023 at all, even for playing games at 1080p resolution. 8GB is simply not enough to handle some of the current as well as a lot of future AAA games, but that is a topic for another video. What do you think about the RTX 4070? Do you plan on getting one? Let me know in the comments. Also, if you enjoyed this video, then give it a like and subscribe to the channel for more content like this if you haven't already. It was I, Vadim. 
Until next time.